Hey there, welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're picking right up where we left off on Persona 5 Royal. We are inside the school that we'll be attending for the next year. Right now we're heading into the faculty office because our teacher has been waiting for us all day because of what happened in the last episode. Which if you haven't watched it, you might want to watch it before watching this one. Things might make a bit more sense. And that's our teacher. She is very not impressed with us on our first day. Being over half a day late on your first day? Can you explain yourself? Like, I got lost. Like, where else do you want me to go? I'm in a new town and you expect me to actually know what the hell I'm doing? You've been lost for this long. It's almost lunchtime. Well, it's probably true that you're not used to the area yet, but you're still way too late. Will you pull yourself together? You were given fair warning yesterday. More importantly, I heard that you were caught along with that Sakamoto kun. Get involved with him, okay? He's nothing but trouble. He wasn't like that when he was devoting his time to track and field. Though. Oh wait, so at one point in time, Ryuji was actually smart. Is that what the teacher's been telling us? Because anyway, as you'll realize throughout the game, he's not really the brightest tool in the tool shed ever. He's like that typical kid that literally cheats off everybody in class, and then instead of studying, plays video games and everything, as opposed to just studying. By the way, when you introduce yourself. Be serious about it, even if you're lying to the class, okay? You think that's him? Huh? The one in the rumors? Being super late on his first day? He really is insane. He looks normal, though. But he might slug us if we look him in the eye. Settle down. Well, I'd like to introduce a transfer student. Today we had him attend from the afternoon on since he wasn't feeling well. All right, will you say something to the class? He seems quiet, but I bet when he loses it... I mean, he was arrested for assault, right? Uh, so, your seat will be, hmm, over there, the one that's open. Sorry, but can the people nearby please share your textbooks with him for today? Ugh, this sucks. Did you catch that? Do those two know each other? Ooh, does that mean he hit on her before transferring here? That means she's cheating on him with Mr. Kamoshida. Then again, this is Takamaki-san we're talking about. For real, that side of the room is totally awful. Oh, right. The volleyball rallies in two days. Everyone's just changed classes, so make sure you use that time to get to know each other. Well then, let's get class started. Who's on duty today? Everyone, please rise. Hmm? What's wrong? Are you sure you're okay? Also, it seems like people are already talking about you, but I'm not the one who told them. I can't even catch a break. Why do I have to deal with this? 
You should head straight home without stopping by anywhere. Sakura-san sounded pretty angry. Oh, and about Sakamoto-kun, don't get involved. Speak of the devil. What do you want? I heard the police caught you cutting classes today. <sighs> it was nothing. And you haven't dyed your hair back to black, either. Sorry about that. I'll be waiting on the rooftop. <sighs> See? That's why I don't want you getting involved. Understood? Why did you allow a student like him to transfer here? He's already started associating with Sakamoto. A student with a criminal record and the culprit of an assault case. At this rate, it'd be pointless how much I contribute to the school. Now, don't be like that. This school counts on you, Kamoshiro-kun. You are our star. Still, a steady buildup is necessary behind such brilliance as well. Your troubles never seem to end, do they, Principal Kobayakawa? All right, I understand. I'll continue to do my best to answer your expectations of me. So the rooftop is actually our first meetup spot for the Phantom Thieves. Between every palace, we typically change meetup spots. But this is where the first one begins with Ryuji and whatnot. And then sometimes you come back here for certain things, but it's just are. really a hangout spot. Sorry for calling you up here like this. I bet Kawakami already told you stuff like, don't get involved with him, huh? <laughs> I thought you'd say that. I heard you got a criminal record. Everyone's talking about it. No wonder you were so gutsy. What was all that that happened? You know, how we almost got killed at a castle. It wasn't a dream, right? You remember it too, yeah? Well... Because we both remember it doesn't mean much, though. I mean, even so, yeah. Uh, thanks. You're welcome. But man, that Kamoshida we saw there. You probably don't know about it, but there are some rumors about him. You know, the guy you met at the school gates, the ripped one. That asshole who was all full of himself at the castle. No one says anything against him because he's some medalist who took the volleyball team to nationals. The way Kamashita was king of that castle felt crazy real because of that. I wonder if we can go back to that castle again. Ah, forget it. It must have all been a dream. It has to be. Sorry to drag you out here like this. That's all I had to say. You know... We might be pretty similar. I feel like we're gonna get along just fine as troublemakers. I'm Ryuji Sakamoto. I'll come talk if I see you around. Don't ignore me, all right? See ya. I got a call from the school. I hear you ditched half a day on your first day of school. Just when I was thinking you had it together this morning. Look, just behave yourself. One wrong step and your life is over. You do know what probation means, right? Good. Hey. What's up? Yeah, I just closed up shop. I'll head over in half an hour, as promised. What are you standing around for? Get upstairs and go to bed already. No, it's a guy. I just hired a part-timer. He just hired a part-timer who he treats as his own child. Like, don't tell me what to do. I'm a teenager. I can go to bed when I want. Because later in the game, he becomes a real father figure. 
compared to how he is now. And as a side tidbit, every time we see this cutscene, just assume we're going to the Velvet Room for some reason. For some reason, it's always during our oh, sleep you, that we go to the Velvet Room. On your feet, inmate. I mean, there is a way to access it during the daytime, however, it's for your own sake that usually story-wise, it's always in the dream. First off, let us celebrate our reunion. Oh. You've awakened to your powers, and special ones at that. Your rehabilitation can finally begin. There is no need to understand it all for the time being. You will be training the power of Persona, which you have awakened to. Personas are, in other words, a mask an armor of the heart when confronting worldly matters. I have high expectations for you. There is no need to worry. You will learn when the time comes. By the by, have you come to appreciate the Metaverse Navigator? Using it will allow you to come and go between reality and palaces. I bestowed it to you as a means to train you as a thief. The Metaverse Navigator is a gift from our master. You better take care in using it, inmate. Devote yourself to your training so that you may become a fine thief. It must be disheartening to make use of the Metaverse Navigator alone. Should there be others who would prove beneficial to you, I will grant it to them as well. This is all for you to grow as a most excellent thief. <laughs> it's time. Go back and enjoy whatever rest you might have. So Igor just explained to us our party members at the end there. He also included confidants as well. Just before that, like, included everybody you get with you. Gonna make your life a lot easier in this game. Every time you raise a social link, which, fun fact, is what they were they used to be called, you automatically get a skill. Could be something as simple as where Futaba gives you a chance to get the treasures again from the palace or reveal a floor or Ryuji instant killing somebody without actually heading into battle. Uh, what's going on? Look, isn't that her? You mean that one with and the now this is our first royal so. exclusive confidant, Katsumi, and he's been put in the story so well, including the other one as well, that somebody who had never played a vanilla Persona 5 would never know they were never not there. But this whole part is actually all brand new for just this version of the game. Please, take my seat. My station's coming up. Are you sure? Oh, then. That seat was for this lady. Oh. It's all right. I can understand his position as well. I'm sorry I couldn't be any help. It's all right, dearie. Don't you worry. Please allow me to carry your luggage at least. Thank you. Ain't it heavy, though? Not at all. I train plenty. Pardon me. Thank you so much for earlier. For speaking up when I offered my seat on the train. You're a second year at Shujin Academy, correct? I'm a first year there myself. Thinking you totally slipped my mind back on the train, and I didn't want to be rude to my senpai. Please excuse me.
Class is starting. What's the answer? Now, I get this question wrong, however, I was just really skipping it because I didn't really want to think too much of it. It's not. These questions aren't really important. All they do is boost knowledge, one of the five stats that we have. But it takes so much just in max knowledge that you can miss a bunch of questions and still finish the game at max knowledge. And later on, we get a feature where we can hit the trackpad on the PS4 controller and we get the correct answer. Then we just choose it and it, it just makes life easier as opposed to going on Google and just searching the answer. I mean, not saying that I ever did that, but you know, I, I probably did. Hey there, Takamaki. Things have been pretty dangerous lately with all those accidents. Sorry, I have a photo shoot today. It's for the special summer issue, so I can't afford to miss it. Hey now, being a model's fine and dandy, but don't work your pretty little self to the bone. You mentioned you weren't feeling well, right? Something about appendicitis? Yes, I keep planning to go to the hospital, but I've been too busy. Sorry to worry you. You must be lonely, too. I feel bad for keeping your best friend at practice so often. Oh, and be careful around that transfer student. He's got a criminal record, after all. If something were to happen to you... Thank you. Please... I want to talk about that castle from yesterday. I tried telling myself it was all just a dream, but I couldn't do it. I can't. I want to find out what's up with that place, no matter what. And you know, you're the only person I can rely on for this stuff, so you in? Nice! <laughs> okay, glad we're in this together. I, I might be skipping this part a little bit, but it's really just them discovering the meta nav navigator, which Igor already told us about. As once he finds somebody useful for us, he'll give it to him as well. This is exactly what's happening. It's a lot of little things like that that happen throughout the story to make you remember. When did they build something like that, though? And it just makes the game so much more immersive. We walked that way from here, right? I figured I'd mention that just so you guys realize why I'm skipping it, because it's literally we the same way. thing. Alright, this way. Let me know if you notice something. Huh? We're at school. There wasn't any... Yeah, we must have made a wrong turn somewhere. Let's... Don't worry, I won't mess up this time. Let's go. For real? Yes, Ryuji, for real. Is it smaller than we think it is? What do you think? already did that. I didn't see anything like it around here. Huh? Phone. Hey, that reminds me. Didn't you have a navigation app thingy on back then? I don't know if it was or not, but I heard stuff that sounded like one coming from your phone. You know, didn't it say stuff like returned to the real world or something like that? Let me see your phone for a bit. eyeball looking thing wait what what a weird app oh wait this is it I knew it 
It is a navigation app. There's even your search history. Oh man, I'm such a genius. Let's try using it. Why? All we're doing is starting an app. Tamoshida. Shuten Academy. Pervert. Castle. Beginning navigation. Here we go. Then we went in a certain direction and... Hey, what are you... Huh? What the hell? the castle from yesterday we made it back that means what happened yesterday was for real too yeah it was close that happened last time too huh what's with that outfit Yeah, what's up, my clothes? You jelly? I, I ain't jealous. Oh, you know you jelly. What's going on here? Like, look at how stylish I look. Hey! Stop making a commotion. Uh, you? The shadow started acting up, so I came here wondering what it could be. <sighs> to think you guys would come back to the entrance when you barely managed to escape. What is this place? Is it the school? That's right. But it's a castle. No castle shit, Ryuji. Cool. It's a castle. We ain't castle blind. Cool. The castle's ruler? I think you called him Kamoshida. It's how his distorted heart views the school. Kamoshida? Distorted? Explain it in a way that makes sense. I shouldn't have expected a moron to get it. What did you say? He called you a moron, Ryuji, because oh that's gosh. what you've seen. It must be the slaves captive here. For real? <laughs> oh shit, it's for real. We saw other guys held captive here yesterday. I'm pretty sure they're from our school. Most likely on Kamoshida's orders. It's nothing out of the ordinary. It's like that every day here. What's more, you two escaped yesterday. He must have lost his temper quite a bit. That son of a bitch! Ryuji? This is bullshit! You hear me, Kamushita? Doing that isn't going to open it, you know. Still, it seems you have your reasons. Hey, Mona Mona! It's Morgana! Do you know where those voices are coming from? You want me to take you to them? Well, I guess I could guide you there. But only if he comes with us. It's settled then. For real? Thanks, man. All right, let's do this. Follow me. This is our infiltration point. Ain't that where we escaped out of last time? That's right. Not barging in through the entrance is one of the basics of phantom thievery. How are we supposed to know about that stuff? We'll make sure to teach you as we go. Come on, follow me. So, uh, sorry for dragging you into all of this. But I just can't forgive that bastard Kamoshida doing whatever the hell he wants. Really, though, thanks for coming along. I owe you big time. Place is as creepy as always. Mm -hmm. Now make sure you do exactly as I say, all right? Follow me.
Feeling there would be guards here. Looks like we're going to have to start fighting our way forward. Uh, for real? Oh boy. I'll just teach you the basics of battle for now. You better not forget all of this. Always try to ambush enemies instead of rushing everywhere headlong. Attack from behind whenever you can. You'll need to rip their masks off to momentarily break the control that the palace ruler has over them. If you succeed, your opponent will be caught off guard. Allowing us to jump in for a preemptive attack. So, uh, but anyway, I'll reveal and your true you. form. That was the one with the first time you hear Joker speak. Also, this track is actually exclusive to Royal as well. The battle theme, Takeover, is actually exclusive to Royal. And Vanilla Persona 5 had Last Surprise, which you hear when you don't get to successfully ambush the enemy. Alright, we leveled up. This power. further in too they might have been transferred already oh crap I can hear footsteps coming it would be a problem if they just hey. So we just discovered what is known as a safe room, where we can actually save the our game and progress and heal and all those fun stuff. How can you tell? There's a lack of distortion here, meaning the ruler's control over this area is weak. Is this a classroom? Now do you understand? This place is another reality that the ruler's heart projects. This is Kamoshida's reality? Ugh, shit makes no sense at all. One could say it's a world in which one's distorted desires have materialized. I call such a place a palace. A palace? This is happening because he thinks the school is his own castle. So it became like this because he just thought of it like that? <laughs> Son of a bitch! You must really hate this Kamashita guy. Hate doesn't even cover how I feel. Everything is that asshole's fault. I don't know what happened between you two, but don't let your emotions get the better of you. His lackeys are everywhere inside. You're curious about your outfit, aren't you? Yeah, I'm curious as hell about it too. Are you really That's curious, Ryuji, or are you just jelly? Let, let, that makes no like sense. jelly, like super jelly? Anything distorts according to how a ruler pleases within his palace. A school can turn into a castle like this, after all. In order to prevent such distortions, one must hold a powerful will of rebellion. Your appearance is a manifestation of that. It's the image of rebellion that you hold within. Uh, I'm so fed up with all this! I'm more curious about you than his clothes. What the hell are you anyways? I'm a human. An honest to god human. It looks like a cat. No, you're obviously more like a cat. This is, well, it's because I lost my true form, I think. So what you're saying is this is not your final form? But I do know how to regain my true form. The reason why I snuck in here was for a preliminary investigation of those means. Well, I... Ended up getting caught, though. Besides, I've been tortured by Kamoshita, too. I'm gonna make him pay for sure. What is this, a comic book? This is seriously crazy. If we're gonna keep going, we should hurry along. 
I'll be counting on your skills this time too, rookie. Got it? Don't worry, I'm not gonna force it all on you. I thought it might help, so... I brought this just in case. It's a model gun, though, so it only makes sounds. That's a toy! But it looks totally real, so it'll at least fake him out. Oh, I brought some medicine, too. You know what they say, providing is pre... something. Huh? Huh? So you were planning this from the start. Well, fine. If you're ready to go, we'll resume our infiltration. The only time Ryuji is actually useful is at the start of the game by getting us one medicine, but we're three. None of this makes sense, and a toy gun. We're not on the playground, Ryuji. The we're in some other place. Now then. So, what are we gonna do? Seems like it. Is that moment uh, you get taught well, everything you, you need to know that about sounds, being a thief uh, from my cat? Complicated. Something it's tells me that they did not think this one through. Like, so a cat sure is you teaching you it, okay? how to be a thief. Last surprise, the second battle theme, or the original battle theme for Persona 5 vanilla version. It's not bad, I actually like it quite so, but it's, it was just interesting they created a new one exclusively for Royal. I had a feeling there would be a lot of enemies. It'd be impossible to dodge all of them. Then what do we do? It's not that simple. We still have a long way to go, so we should be conserving energy. I... I see. Sorry. Damn it. I wish I could fight. I'd at least be able to help out a little bit. But all I got is this toy from earlier. <sighs> Such a loser. Huh? Do you mean that gun? It looks real and all, but it doesn't shoot anything. I see. Well, there is a way. Okay, we'll use that to take down the enemies. What? Were you listening to me? It don't even shoot pellets. Don't worry, I'm sure this will work. Attack away, frizzy hair. Frizzy hair has a name, you know, you stupid cats. Dude, I, I keep saying it's not... You have the gun with you, right? Point it at a shadow and fire. Here's a fun difference between vanilla version and royal. Royal, the bullets refresh after each battle. However, in vanilla Persona 5, it would be every time you leave the palace. It Surprise. was a welcome change, because you'll realize later like how to catch certain personas. It's a lot easier to just use your gun. But you had to really like plan this using through. Using it all up does more good than letting it collect dust. Alright, I'll show you my weapon too. You see?
for real? Replenished. Go. What do you want to do? Basically what that means is either you can let the, the game control your, your party members or you can control them freely, which is reminiscent to Persona 3. That in Persona 3 you couldn't I'll control your, your party four. members, but 4 and 5 you can. take it down again I guess that's our only choice but wait this might be a good okay I've decided I'm gonna teach you to a special way to fight enemies something like that let's go listen there's a distinct flow to battles let me show you first knock down all the enemies everything starts at that crucial step Persona! Oh. All right. Now rush on in for an all-out attack. Let's go. Here is a, a very special attack that you're learning. So later at that point, when you hold them up, there'll be more than just all-out attack as an option. But you learn that as you progress through the story. Hmm. That was. What was that super move thing you just did? I told you, it's called an all-out attack. If you manage to knock all the enemies down, you might be able to use it to beat them all at once. Yeah, that was over quick. It's a concentrated attack on defenseless enemies, after all. Now, as I mentioned before, I want you to be the head of our command. You can decide when we use this. Strike the enemy's weakness, knock them all down, then do an all-out attack. That's the ideal pattern. Yes! E yeah. Now might be a good time to mention that this game is actually rated M for Mature if you guys didn't see it yet, but yeah, they might get very dark very quick. But this is beyond messed up! How do I open this? Stop it! Leave us alone. It's useless. Huh? If we stay obedient, we won't be executed like you guys. You're telling me you want to stay in a place like this? Wait a minute. Were you planning on taking these guys out of here? We can't just leave them here. How stupid can you be? What? 
These are only humans in Kamoshida's cognition. They aren't real humans that have entered from reality. They're different from you two. Cognition? It means there's no point in saving them. They're different from the real ones, and the you could say that these are extremely similar looking dolls. The hell? Why is it gotta be so complicated? So the school's a castle, and the students are slaves. It's so on point that it makes me laugh. This really is the inside of that asshole's head. Still, this is horrible. It must mean he treats them as slaves in the real world, too. In the real world, too? Wait, I know these guys. They're members of the volleyball team, the one Kamoshida coaches for. They must be physically abused every day. There's no way they'd be so beat up normally. Don't tell me. They're going through similar shit in reality? Most likely. I mean, this proves that Kamoshida thinks of them as slaves. So it might be for real. I heard that Kamoshida's using physical punishment. They're just rumors, but... If they're true, wouldn't this be something to report to the police? I'll use these guys as evidence. If it all goes well, we can take down that asshole Kamoshida. Huh? It's not working. We can use the navigation app, but the camera's a no-go? A navigation app? That's what we used to come here. What about yours? Whatever you do is fine, but we're gonna get caught if we stand around like this. We need to head back. Hang on a sec. There's no other way. I'll just memorize their faces before going home. Let's go! So this part is kind of tedious, but you gotta look at every, like, cage that you see in this hallway to progress in the story. And most of them are just saying, no, it's okay, don't save us, or whatever of that nature. Because they're not real, hey. the real humans, they're just somebody else's cognition version of those people. Come on, man. Let's go! To think you'd make the same mistake again. You're hopeless. The school ain't your castle. I've memorized their faces real good. You're going down. It seems it's true when they say barking dogs seldom bite. How far the star... The hell are you getting at? I speak of the track... Oh, I can only imagine the pain of the others who were dragged under with your... Selfish act. <laughs> what, a what a surprise. So you're accompanying him without knowing anything at all. He betrayed his teammates and crushed their hopes. Yet he still carries on as carefree as ever. And you carry on with no pants. That's not true! What a tragedy. You blindly trusted this fool, and he's led you right to your death. Hurry up and dispose of them. I can't stand their stench. God 
damn it. Ryuji, move! Uh, we're surrounded. So I'll speak over this fight because there's no way to win this fight other than, like, even at New Game Plus. Like, you hit one, you do just enough damage, and it'll kill you off. Because at this point in time, Ryuji's persona is going to awaken, which is Captain Kidd, a space off of Scottish pirate, Captain William Kidd. As I said in the previous episode, a lot of the personas are based off, like, pirates or thief or those kind of nature. And we're just keeping that theme right on through with Captain Kidd. Also, Ryuji is quite useful when he awakens his persona. He's kind of like the tank. Uh, of your party, like, you can deal a lot of damage and also receive a lot of damage, which makes them useful late game to uh, keep in your party. You piece of... I bet you simply came here on a whim and ended up like this, isn't that right? No! What a worthless piece of trash, getting emotional so quickly. How dare you raise your hand at me! Though it was only temporary, it wasn't no practice, it was physical abuse! You just didn't like our team! It was nothing but an eyesore. The only one who needs to achieve results is me. You can't really achieve results without wearing pants and wearing what looks like a speedo. What? Do you need me to deal with your other leg too? <laughs> the school will call it self-defense anyway. Damn it. Am I gonna lose again? Not only can I not run anymore, the track team has gone too... So that's why. Once these two are dealt with, you're next. <laughs> Ryuji! that was important to me was taken by him. I'll never get him back. Stay there and walk. Look on as these hopeless... No, that's what you are. All you think about is using people. You're the real scumbag, Kamoshida! What are you doing? Silence him! Stop looking down on me with that stupid- You made me wait quite a while. You seek power, correct? Then let us form a pact. Since your name has been disgraced already, why not hoist the flag and wreak havoc? The other you who exists within desires it thus. I am thou, thou Kai. There is no turning back. The skull of rebellion is your flag henceforth! <laughs> what can you do? Cower in fear and watch! <laughs> Right. 
God, what's up, Persona? This effing rocks! Now that I got this power, it's time for payback! Yo, I'm ready! Bring it! Don't mock me, you brat! Blast him away, Captain Kid! What troublemakers that... Kamoshida's cognition ain't changing, right? And I'll have to... Let's do this, Captain Kid! So Ryuji's typing is electric, just like how Morgana is wind. And technically, Joker original was Persona was cursed. But you can change it as you want later on. a secret to finish this fight pretty quick. Skip the two enemies on the side and just hit the one in the middle. As soon as the middle one is down, the cutscene will play through anyways, even if both characters on each side are still standing. the potential too even if you apologize now I ain't forgiven you I told you that this is my castle it seems you still don't understand what Takamaki going on <laughs> yeah now that you mentioned but why is she even here hey let go of her you perv How many times must I tell you until you understand? This is my castle, a place in which I can do whatever I want. Everyone wishes to be loved by me. Again, I just really want to mention that this Everyone part is the cognitive world and not the real like Antamaki that's here right now, but that's how Kamakita sees her in the real world. Which is why that he's perfect for the first villain of this game. It's a very hard-hitting villain that it's it almost justifies the whole story, even though afterwards the other ones tend Calm to become down, more comic book-like, it and it's not as interesting, one. but this one here, again, as I said in the previous episode, there's a lot of Persona being awakened and a lot of story a stuff happening here. Just thought I mentioned that, you know, if you guys are sensitive to these subjects, um, should have maybe let you know on sooner, but I'm not cutting this surprise. part out of it because it is part of the game, unfortunately. Like you. Damn it! Clean them up this instant! Numbered. Let's scram before we get surrounded. We're not gonna do anything and just run? Thank God you've got a level head. <sighs> Fine. We'll expose what you really are no matter what. You better be ready for us. What Ryuji just said kind of makes it look like a shitty wrestling promo, and I've just realized that as I'm recording this right now. It's way too much like an old wrestling promo to not mention it.
Anyways, I don't remember changing into this. Uh, should I be happy about that? Then again, it ain't as bad as yours. Joker's outfit looks better than Ryuji's. I'm not quite sure what Ryuji sees, but each of their own, I guess. So what's going on? I'm completely lost, man. I told you before, when a Persona user opposes a palace's ruler and becomes a threat to them, this happens. It's to prevent you from being affected by distortions. Is this a skull? Your appearance reflects your inner self. It's the rebel that slumbers within. Not that you'll get it. Nope. Then stop asking questions and accept what you see for what it is. Easy for you to say. Wait, we're in deep shit! I said to be quiet! We might have gotten away here, but we're still screwed with Kamoshida at the real school. That's quite sharp of you. For being an idiot. Relax. The Kamashita in reality can't possibly know about what happens here. A shadow is the true self that is suppressed. A side of one's personality they don't want to see. So, we're okay? Did the Kamashita in reality remember about the execution? There you have it. Alright. Now that we know that, all we gotta do is... Wait. I guided you as promised. It's your turn to cooperate with me. That's why I was super nice about teaching you idiots everything. Huh? Cooperate? Don't you remember? I originally came here for an investigation. I need to erase the distortion from my body and regain my real form. That's why we must delve deep into mementos and... Whoa, hold up. What are you going on and on about? We never said anything about helping you out. Huh? Don't tell me. Are you not going to repay the hospitality I showed you? Especially you! You're going to up and leave, even though you're already part of my master plan? What? The nerve! Is it because I'm not human? We're busy. Thanks for everything, cat. You got guts being a cat and all. See you around. Hey! What the hell? Oh, seriously? Why are you wrapping this up like everything's all hunky-dory? Oh, hell no! Oh, hell no! <laughs> hell no! Hell to the no! Hell to the no! You have returned to the real world. Welcome back. <sighs> Thank God. We're back. Yeah, I dragged you around a lot, huh? Ugh, sorry, man. <sighs> I'm dead tired. How are you holding up? I guess you don't really show it, huh? But damn, if what we saw was for real, oh, this is gonna get good. I totally remember the faces of the guys Kamoshida was treating like slaves. Once we make him fess up to any physical abuse, Kamoshida will be done. So, want to help me look for those guys or any witnesses? Now that's what I'm talking about! Hey, so if you're thinking of laying low because you got a record, I don't think that'll help. Everyone already knows. They totally got you pegged as a criminal. Kamoshida opened his damn mouth. No one else besides a teacher could have leaked it that fast. It doesn't matter if it's a student or a club. That asshole just wrecks things he doesn't agree with. Just like he did with me. No one will take anything I say seriously. Still, those rumors about him getting physical might be real. And after seeing Kamoshida's distorted heart thing in person, there's no way I can just sit back. I'm counting on you. Don't worry, I'm hyped about this too.
just like that, we finally were awakening our first confidants. Yes, Ryuji is ironically our first confidant, except for Igor. But every time we get a new confidant, this is gonna happen where we go to this room and talk to Sai. Acting as a phantom thief would have been more efficient alone. You could have gone about it that way. However, you did not. There are merits to having associates. That's what you decided. Am I wrong? Be prepared to hear this a lot throughout the game. I might cut it out in the future, but... I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the chariot persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. And the confidants, as you see that little card there, is based off of tarot cards. Those cards that people can use to tell people's futures or All right. whatnot, that's what they're based off. Oh, right. I haven't eaten anything since lunch. It'd be weird splitting off now, so why don't we grab a bite somewhere? Just follow me. I mean, I totally gotta hear about your past. What the hell, man? Here's a little fun How fact. Much can that what they are eating right now is actually the beef bowl from Persona 4. You can kind of see it on the Just top left corner. Story I'm makes not me quite angry. sure why it took me so this long to realize this, but it's actually from Persona now, huh? 4. Huh. We might be more alike than I originally thought. the first guy that made me think that I guess it's how we're treated like a pain in the ass by the people around us like we don't belong I did something stupid at school before too the place you're living now is in Yongen right it's rush hour on the subways I suggest you kill some time before heading home what the hell man you barely touched your food Let me do it. I gotta thank you for helping me. Anyways, I got your back like you got mine from tomorrow on. As long as we do something about Kamoshida, I'm sure we'll both feel better about being at school. Oh, yeah! Tell me your number. Oh, chat ID, too. Just you wait, Kamoshida. We're gonna start right away tomorrow. First, let's hit up those guys that were kept as slaves. The volleyball rallies tomorrow, huh? <laughs> Shit's recommended by Kamoshida. Makes me want to gag. But thanks to that, we got no classes in the afternoon, and we can walk around unnoticed. Well, I guess we can work out the details tomorrow. Come on, you gotta eat more. There's tons of ginger here. So, about this plan to take down Kamoshida. been sleeping well lately. Whenever I close my eyes, I keep thinking about too many things. Shio. Nationals are coming up soon, so I keep thinking, should someone like me really be on the starting lineup? Don't worry. Just be confident in yourself. Your skills have been recognized. It's all because you work harder than anyone else. <laughs> yeah. Volleyball's all I have, after all. More importantly, was that injury okay? It looked really swollen. N no, it's nothing. It's normal. Especially since a meet's coming up. <sighs> Sorry to interrupt, Suzui. Um, Mr. Kamashita told me to get you. 
Huh? What does he want? He didn't say. <sighs> On, I... <sighs> It'll be fine. I bet it's a meeting about the starting lineup or something. <laughs> yeah. Well, I better go. Yep. Good luck. Hang in there, Shiho. You're home. I take it you actually went to school today? I guess you learned your lesson after what happened yesterday. Uh, as long as you're not getting into trouble, it's fine by me. I don't know what you've been up to, but trust me, you'll be gone if you start causing problems. In case you forgot, your life is not a free one right now. Are you even listening to me? Hey, I'm gonna head home for the night. So with that, um, I'm gonna end the video here. And with that, I thank you so much for watching. And if you like the video, please like it and subscribe to the channel. Um, we're going full on on the on Persona 5 Royal. If you guys have an idea for another game you'd like me to play through, uh, definitely leave a comment. I'd be more than willing to take your suggestions. I do have a few games I'd like to play on the channel as well, but I like to let my audience choose what kind of game they'd like to see. So again, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. And with that, have yourself a wonderful day. Bye!